Hi kids welcome to what why how brought to you by magic minds learning academy today we are going to learn yet another popular theorem with respect to circles known as tangent secant theorem okay so let's start with the what part what is tangent secant theorem it states that if a secant and a tangent of a circle are drawn from a point outside the circle then the product of the lengths of secant and its external segment equals the square of length of the tangent few words need to be read carefully here product secant external segment square and tangent okay now let's see the graphical representation of the theorem here is the circle as shown in light blue color p is a point outside the circle pt is a tangent drawn from point p while line segment pab which cuts the circle at two points a and b is a secant note that p is any random point taken outside the circle so the theorem says that product of secant that is the entire length pab or pb whatever you may want to call it and its external segment that is the portion of secant which lies outside the circle which is nothing but the length pa is equal to square of length of the tangent that is pt square this means pt square is equal to pa into pb so this is the what part of tangent secant theorem great now let's understand the why part of tangent secant theorem let us look at the proof first we start with a small construction we will join at and bt notice that we can see two distinct triangles triangle pta that is the one shown in red color here and triangle ptb that is the one now shown in red color here okay now consider these two triangles in these triangles angle tpa is equal to angle tpb as both are common angle for both triangles this angle is shown in yellow color in the figure on right now angle pta is equal to angle pbt why the answer is alternate segment theorem for quick revision alternate segment theorem says that the angle between a tangent and a chord through point of contact is equal to the angle formed by that chord in alternate segment here angle pta is the angle between the tangent pt and chord at through point of contact t now this angle will be equal to the angle formed by this chord that is at in alternate segment which is angle pbt and hence angle pta is equal to angle pbt by alternate segment theorem okay moving forward since two of the angles in these two triangles are equal therefore triangle pta is similar to triangle ptb and hence ratio of sides opposite to equal angles will be equal this means pt by pa that is side of triangle ptb opposite to angle pbt upon side of triangle pta opposite to angle pta this will be equal to pb upon pt that is side of triangle ptb opposite to angle ptb upon side of triangle pta opposite to angle pat and thus we can say that pt by pa is equal to pb by pt or pt square is equal to pa into pb this is all we wanted to prove isn't it i hope you guys understood the why part fairly well let us now see the how part we'll take up an example problem which can be solved 
using tangent secant theorem so that you can understand how we can use that theorem to solve problems on circles. So here is the problem. In the figure given below, PAB and PCD are secant lines to circle with center O and O dash respectively, while PT is a common tangent. If AB is equal to 25 centimeters, PC is equal to 6 centimeters and CD equals to 8 centimeters, find PA. Go ahead and solve the problem. You can tell us the answer in comment section. Also, let us know what concepts of maths or science you want us to explain in our upcoming videos in the What, Why, How series. Send us your request in the comment section. Till then, keep studying and enjoy.